Hi, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. PDFs are fabulous for sharing data, but try analysing that data in a PDF reader and you've got no chance. So just how do you get that data into Excel and work with it in there? Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Back in 2014, I created a video on this subject, but since then things have got a whole lot simpler. So I decided it was time to create an updated version. If you're using Excel on Windows with a Microsoft 365 subscription, the feature is now built into the application. If you want to follow along with me, you'll find links to the PDFs that I use in the demos in the description below. For the first demo, I'll use a simple PDF that's got two tables in it. So in Excel, I'll click on Data, Get Data, From File, From PDF. Then I need to find the PDF, which is on my desktop, and it's the one called Sales Summary, and click Import. Excel analyzes the file, and it's found a table and one page. If I click on the table, you can see a preview of the data. It's actually merged the two tables together, and it's not brought in the heading that said Sales Summary, February 2022. But if I click on the page, it's not recognised the column headings, but it has brought in the title sales summary. I'm going to bring the table in to Excel. So I select the table and click load at the bottom here. And we now have a set of data loaded into Excel. The panel on the right hand side, the queries panel, whenever you import data into Excel from an external source, whether it be a PDF or something else, then it will create behind the scenes a query. And that is just a set of instructions that tells Excel where the data is coming from. Now, I don't need to work with that query at the moment, so I'll just close that panel down. But here, is our data. It's totally editable. It's not just a picture and I can do anything I need to do with it. For the second demo, I'm going to use a more complex file. This is a copy of the Manchester United Football Club annual report for 2021. Page 7 contains a profit and loss statement and on page 49 there's a table that lists all the players along with their positions and some other information. So let's see what Excel makes of it. So I'll click on data, get data from file from PDF. Select the file from my desktop and click import. Now in this demo, I've got two items that I want to bring in. I want to bring in page seven and page 49. I could bring them in one at a time. If I did that, I'd have to go through the data, get data process twice, but at the top here, I've got select multiple items. If I tick that box, it allows me to select multiple items and perform this import operation just the once. So if I select table seven on page seven, that is the profit and loss account. And if I scroll down to page 49 and tick the box there, that is the list of players. Now, if I was to click the load button like I did in the last demo, that will load the two sets of data into Excel, but it won't load it into the spreadsheet. It'll load it into something called the data model, which the discussion of that is outside the scope of this video. So if you want the data to be loaded into the spreadsheet, when you've selected select multiple items, don't click the load button. Instead, click the drop down arrow next to load and select load two. And you can see that it's already selected, add this data to the data model and only create a connection. Whereas in the first example we did with the table of sales data, because I didn't tick the box to select multiple items, it defaulted to bringing the data into the spreadsheet cells. So I need to untick the box to add to the data model and change this option to table and then click OK. And what this does is it creates two queries and it imports two sets of data. Each set of data is loaded into a separate worksheet. So here we have the list of players 
and here we have the profit and loss data. It's not perfect by any means, but it's made a pretty good job of it. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share it with your colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to be amongst the first to know about my upcoming videos and free resources, check out theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.